Real quick disclaimer, if you're sensitive to things like bright lights and lasers flashing at the screen, just be aware that we will be demonstrating some of those in today's video. Hey there folks, how you doing today? Welcome back to the channel. Please bear with the sounds of life happening right outside these doors. We're here today to discuss this item right here, which is the Sirius TAC VGC vertical light laser combo. It was sent to us by the folks over at Shooter's Gate. I knew nothing about the company. They reached out to me, said, would you like to try out one of our products? I told them, sure, if you want to send me something, go ahead. No promises. I'll take a look at it. If it works pretty good, I'll go ahead and make a video on it. So here we are. Uh, that being said, this particular model, I'm going to pick up the box. And I'm going to read some of the specs to you. I'll also throw up an image of it here so you can see it a little better. Uh, this particular model has the green laser, which is a plus. It has a strobe feature. It's USB type C rechargeable. It's compatible with a 1913 rail. You can tell that here by it mounted on our Panzer AR-12. It has a tactical double switch. This one actually has three buttons. It has one on the right hand side there for the uh, for the light. The left hand side is the strobe, and then the button up at the top that was in essence a sophisticated heat beam, which we called a laser. Now, real quick, this is a vertical forward grip. What might you need a vertical forward grip for? Well, I mounted it on this AR-12 on purpose so that. You could see, now this is safe and empty, it's been double checked, triple checked, so that you could see that it gives you a positive point of contact, something that you can kind of grab and pull in. Also, if need be, if you needed to tuck it in, that laser might come in handy, right? Like you could press the laser button and shine it from any position, right? I mean, that's kind of what I would consider to be a selling feature of a vertical grip with a laser attached to it. Real quick disclaimer, when it comes to vertical forward grips, it's okay on your shotgun, it's okay on your rifle. Do not put one on a pistol platform unless you want somebody showing up in the middle of the night to Christy Gnome your dog. So that being said, in the past, I've been a little hesitant to purchase something that's like a light laser combo, just because sometimes when you have multiple features like that in an item, it seemed like it was kind of a gimmick and wasn't really thought through very well. So on that note, uh, going back, I'll put the pictures up here as I demonstrate them. Uh, going back through the functions, we have the laser right here, which is operated by the top center button. We have the strobe right there, which is operated by the button on the left. We have the light feature, which is either moment on if you press it or if you give it a good push, it'll stay on forever or at least until the batteries go dead or you turn it off. So those are the modes that the, that the light features. Um, the light's very bright. It says 1600 lumens. I don't know. I think there's a little bit of subjectiveness in how they measure this stuff, but just know that we're going to throw a side by side here to show you the difference between this light and a 500 lumen Surefire G2. Uh, that's the best I can do as far as showing you the difference between the light output. That being said, I, I took this not on this platform. I, I had it mounted on my Keltec Sub 2000, and I took it out to the range the other day to try out that laser. Uh, at seven yards, the laser was clearly visible on a black target in broad daylight, as you can see right here. Now you'll notice as I start shooting through here that the point of impact at seven yards was significantly different than the point of aim. It was point of aim, point of impact. It was consistent. It kept hitting to about the same place, but it really wasn't hitting where I wanted it to be. Well, never fear because it comes with an adjustment tool that you can stick in the side of it and you can make adjustments to shift the laser around to move it where you want it to be.
that's where things started to go south. The adjustment of that laser is incredibly crude. The slightest little movement moves that thing way around. I mean, it's not a fine adjustment at all. And depending on where you have it adjusted to, it might be kind of loose. And after a few rounds, it'll start to wander. You can see here, I actually shot my target stand because the laser was moving around on the thing. So that was at seven yards. Now I did try shining the laser at some steel plates at 25 yards and you absolutely could not see them in broad daylight. I'm sure in a low light situation, they would have been fine. Uh, just know that that laser is only good at distances at seven yards and maybe a little more in broad daylight. And if you can't adjust it without it moving around, or if you can't adjust it well, then I don't think the laser is much of a selling feature of this item. So what do we gather from that? The light works really good. The strobe works really good. The laser, I wouldn't spend the extra money on the laser model. Now, speaking of extra money, how much does this thing cost? Well, Jumping over to their website, you'll see that they have this model with the laser listed at 129 bucks regular price. I think if you want it in black, you can get it on sale there for 110. If you want it in any of the other colors like green or purple or dog wean or pink, you're going to pay $130 for it. Now, you can get the same light minus the laser for 99 bucks. And if it was me, that's what I would do. I think the light overall is very good. I think the laser is a vestigial appendage and is going to be best served as a cat toy around here. Can I check? Uh, that being said, there were no issues with it shutting off or with it not working or with it not taking a charge. Uh, I didn't count to see how long the battery lasts, but it works pretty good. It lasted for all of the length of time that I was playing with it without ever recharging it. So there's that. If it's on a something like a platform like this, you're not going to be using it every day probably, but it would be one of those things that maybe swap out the battery about once a month with one that you know is freshly charged just to keep it topped off just in case. That's what I've got on it. Uh, now I'd like to know what you think. Uh, if you've seen one of these, if you used one of these, if you thought about buying one, but you wanted to see what I had to say about it first, let me know in the comment section down below while we're on the subject. Uh, right here, Fed Up J. Lewis on Rumble. Uh, I'll put the link in the description. That's our other channel we can talk about and do things over there that we cannot in this platform on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube and you want to stay loyal to that, we have this one here. This is our YouTube logo sticker. I will send you either of those or both of those, your choice. All you got to do is drop me a line down in the comments, say you want one. I'll shoot you my email address so that you can give me your address so that I can actually mail it to you. I've had a couple of folks get weird about that in the past. Not going to be a creep to you. All I'm going to do is mail you a sticker, but I can't mail it to you if I don't know where to mail it to. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, take care, folks, and God bless.